Junitai Saiyan Zodiac War begins by showing the scene before the Zodiac Tournament begins, where a mysterious man named Dudekapel becomes the referee. His job is to host and manage the Zodiac Tournament and grant the winner's wish. He then asks the 12 fighters to swallow crystallized poison jewels, often called beast gems, which will kill the fighters 12 hours after being swallowed. Whoever manages to collect the beast gems from the other 11 fighters will be crowned the tournament's winner, then given the antidote, and be entitled to make any wish that will soon be granted. Therefore, the fighters have no choice but to win the tournament if they want to survive. After telling some rules that must be obeyed in the tournament, Dudekapel started the Zodiac tournament and disappeared somewhere. A young woman named Misaki, who represents the monkey in the Chinese Zodiac, proposes something to the other fighters, which she claims can save all the fighters so they don't have to kill each other. Several Zodiac fighters were willing to listen to the monkey's explanation, including Usagi the rabbit, a young man who immediately kills Takayasu the snake before any other warriors arrived in the Zodiac tournament. But before Misaki explained her plan, suddenly, the building was destroyed, and the floor they ending on collapsed so that the fighters became scattered. However, the first battle seems to be between Usagi who will fight a blonde-haired woman named Ino, who represents the boar. Knowing that Usagi wasn't an easy opponent to beat, Ino didn't even give him a chance to approach and immediately launched a ranged attack. But Usagi was able to dodge the attack and easily counterattack. Ino seems to be very confident in her ability to construct a perfect strategy to win the battle. Before Ino can even attack, she is caught by Takeyasu's corpse, controlled by Usagi through his ability Necromancer. Usagi then quickly stabs Ino, causing her to begin to faint. After Ino died, Usagi reanimated her corpse, and they then began to roam the streets, looking for more victims. Meanwhile, Misaki was seen walking with a young man named Nezumi the Rat in another place. Nezumi is one of the fighters who agree with Misaki's proposal that she has a plan to win the tournament and everyone can survive. He said that she was the one who had destroyed the building and scattered the fighters. Misaki didn't deny it and said some fighters didn't agree with her plan, and she intended to finish them off. Nezumi couldn't understand why Misaki did this, because according to him, she was a pretty great fighter and was able to fight them all. However, Misaki says that she doesn't want to fight and tries to reconcile them. After listening to Misaki's explanation, Nezumi lay down and slept because he was already sleepy. Elsewhere, there is a dark-haired man with a canine-like appearance named Dotsuki, who represents the dog. Dotsuki can make a deadly poison to kill his enemies and anesthetize his allies. He could make an antidote to the beast gem's poison so that he would not die after 12 hours even if he didn't win the fight. He plans to hide for the duration of the tournament and will only come out when the surviving fighters are few. However, suddenly Dotsuki met a green-haired young woman named Niwa the Chicken. Niwa then asked Dotsuki to become her ally because she witnessed how great Usagi could control Ino and Takeyasu after killing them. Niwa turns out to have the ability Eye of the Cormorant, which allows her to communicate with and control birds. Hearing this, Dotsuki was willing to make an alliance with Niwa. But deep down, he intends to get rid of her if he no longer needs her. Niwa and Dotsuki then share information about the strength of the other fighters. According to Dotsuki, the most powerful fighter is Kashi the Ox, a horned man with long black hair regarded as a peerless warrior and one of the tournament's favorites. After that, the Tsumita twins were quite dangerous. However, the death of Takeyasu Tsumita seems to have had a considerable impact on the Tsumita twins' power level. However, Nagayuki Tsumita cannot be underestimated. Dotsuki pays attention to Misaki, who he thinks is quite remarkable. Still, she prioritizes world peace, and Misaki's purpose in participating in the tournament seems to be because she wants to end the Zodiac tournament, so that there will be no more battles that risk someone's life and death. In the middle of their conversation, Ino, who has now become a zombie, can be seen walking the streets limping. Dotsuki then plans to use Niwa to confront Ino by biting Niwa's arm and giving her the poison one man's army, his most prized drug that gives a huge strength buff to whoever he injects. By maximizing Niwa's power, Dotsuki hoped that Niwa would kill Ino and she would attack Usagi when he was off guard. Dotsuki intends to kill Niwa after his plan is successful, but as it turned out, he had fallen into the trap of Niwa, who deliberately manipulated him to get the one man's army that could maximize her power. After increasing her strength, Niwa killed Dotsuki and took the gem in his body. Niwa then confronts Ino by launching her signature deadly attack by ordering multiple birds to surround Ino, and slowly devouring her body until only the bones are left. Unfortunately, after successfully killing Dotsuki and Ino, Niwa met with Kashi the ox. Suddenly she remembered Dotsuki's words telling her to run and hide if she ran into Kashi because their strength levels were not comparable. 
However, Niwa is too arrogant to run away and decides to fight against Kashi, who can easily kill her with just one hit. After killing Niwa, Kashi immediately took the gems from her. Meanwhile, Misaki and Nezumi, who were hiding, were suddenly attacked by many crow corpses controlled by Usagi. They have no choice but to fight with Usagi and the undead controlled by him. Even though Misaki is a peace-loving person, she has the great fighting ability and can match Usagi's strength. However, Usagi was finally able to defeat Misaki with the help of Takayasu's zombie head that had been prepared somewhere to monitor Misaki's movements. After killing Misaki, Usagi turns her into an undead. On the other hand, Nezumi seems to be running away from Takayasu and hiding in a money storage room at a bank, where he then meets a man named Soma the Horse. Soma apparently hid there because he was afraid to face Kashi the Ox. After staying there for a while, Nezumi decided to leave and advised Soma to leave the place. However, Soma was too afraid to go outside, so he decided to stay there. Not long after, Takeyasu came there and burned the entire bank building while burning Soma alive with his flame launcher's weapon. Elsewhere, Dudekapel is overseeing the tournament with rulers around the world who make the Zodiac tournament a betting arena. Dudekapel informs that Kashi the Ox and Usagi lead the tournament because they each have three gems from the fighters they killed. However, some people still favor Hitsuji the Sheep, an old man with horns and a past winner of the Juni Taisen. Hitsuji is a master of explosives and grenades and has cunningly deceived the other fighters, blowing them up and winning the previous tournament. In this tournament, Hitsuji managed to trick the referee by not swallowing the beast gem so that he would still be alive after 12 hours if he wasn't killed by another fighter. Hitsuji, who was staying in his hiding place, suddenly felt the presence of someone who was none other than Kashi the Ox. Hitsuji immediately blew up his hiding place, even though he knew Kashi wouldn't die that easily. Hitsuji then runs away and plans to target the weakest fighter, who he thinks is Tora the Tiger. Tora is a young orange-haired woman with a long chain extending from a collar around her neck and a tendency to drink. But Hitsuji underestimated Tora, who seemed to only be drunk and had no fighting skills. Tora could easily spot Hitsuji's hiding place, and he was ready to attack her with explosives, before she killed him and took his beast gem. With Hitsuji's death, only five fighters remained in Juni Taisen, namely Kashi, Usagi, Nezumi, Tora, and Nagayuki. Tora then met the headless zombie Takeyasu, cut off one of the zombie's arms, took the flame launcher weapon, and drank the gasoline inside to keep herself drunk. Just as Tora was about to leave, Kashi the Ox appeared and immediately cut off Takeyasu's other zombie arm. Seeing Kashi's arrival, Tora looked irritated and prepared to fight him. She seems to really hate Kashi and holds a grudge against him. However, when Tora and Kashi were about to fight, both of Takeyasu's arms suddenly strangled them. They had difficulty removing the arm pieces because the physical strength of the undead was far more terrifying than the ones who were still alive. Realizing this, Kashi then asked Tora's help to destroy the zombie's arm and promised to fight against her if they managed to destroy it. Tora agreed to Kashi's request. Kashi then threw his sword that emitted flames at the zombie's arm, strangling Tora. With gasoline still splattered in Tora's mouth, the fire quickly grabbed the zombie's arm and burned it to nothing. Kashi and Tora immediately realized that they had to burn or destroy Takeyasu's zombie body if they wanted to defeat him. However, unbeknownst to them, Takeyasu's twin brother, Nagayuki the Dragon, watched their fight from above. He wants to use his zombie brother to defeat Kashi and Tora at once. On the other hand, Usagi has found out about Nagayuki's existence and immediately killed him, then turned him into an undead to make things difficult for Kashi and Tora. Facing two undead, Kashi then racked his brain and looked for a solution to defeat both of them at once. Kashi got an idea when he saw the nitrogen canister that Nagayuki was carrying, and then asked Tora to take it and destroy the canister, which then froze the zombies and killed them. Because his zombies have been defeated, Usagi finally comes out of hiding and confronts Tora and Kashi at once. For the last time, Tora and Kashi teamed up and defeated Usagi. After everything was done, Tora excitedly challenged Kashi to fight her. Apparently, they had known each other before they entered the Zodiac tournament. Tora is a former martial arts master turned soldier who discovered her bestial drunken fist techniques after a night of despair driven binge drinking. She encountered Kashi the Ox years earlier on a battlefield and was influenced by his philosophy. Inspired by Kashi's philosophy of life and kindness, Tora becomes more enthusiastic about living her life. After learning that Kashi is following Juni Taisen this time, Tora decides to participate and hopes to meet him again. But after they finally meet, it turns out that he doesn't remember her. 
This made Tora very annoyed and wanted to beat him up. However, before they could fight, Usagi, who had become a zombie, suddenly appeared and was about to stab Kashi from behind. Tora, who saw this, then sacrificed herself to protect him. Kashi didn't know why she had saved him. However, seeing that Tora was seriously injured, Kashi quickly carried her, hoping to find medical treatment for her. On the way, Kashi assumed that Usagi had deliberately turned himself into an undead because he realized that he would not be able to face both Kashi and Tora at once. Kashi doesn't seem to find medical help for Tora and leans her against a tree. Tora then begs Kashi to kill her because she doesn't want to be made undead and controlled by Usagi. Tora's wish had been fulfilled because she could meet Kashi again. Hearing Tora's request, Kashi asked if they had met before. But she said that they didn't know each other. After that, Kashi fulfilled Tora's last wish and kills her. Not long after, Kashi faced Usagi, who had now become a terrifying undead and shaped like a monster. He then quickly slashed Usagi's body into pieces. However, Misaki's zombie unexpectedly appeared inside Usagi's body and immediately pounced on Kashi. Kashi intends to end his life by biting his own tongue because he does not want to become a zombie. But Misaki crushes Kashi's teeth so he can't end his own life. While Kashi was being pressed, Nezumi suddenly appeared with Hitsuji's explosives. Kashi asked Nezumi to detonate the bomb, even though Kashi's body would be destroyed. Nezumi activated the bomb with a cold face and placed it near Kashi and the zombies until it exploded and killed them. As the only surviving fighter, Nezumi has been crowned the winner of the Zodiac Tournament. When Nezumi was about to leave the tournament arena, Dudekapel appeared and asked him what he did to win the Zodiac Tournament. But Nezumi refused to tell him and left immediately. When Nezumi got on the elevator, suddenly, the elevator fell, and he was killed. After regaining consciousness, Nezumi returned to the time when Dudekapel asked him everything that happened during the tournament. But again, he refused to tell him and immediately ran out of the building. But then, a wide flange fell on Nezumi, killing him. Nezumi returned to his original state, and so on. Nezumi turns out to have a power called the Hundred Paths of Nezumi-san, which allows him to choose or experience a hundred possible realities. His selected path becomes the factual reality. However, the process is mentally exhausting, explaining Nezumi's sleepy appearance. Nezumi had tried a hundred ways to refuse the interview with Dudekapel, and all of them ended in death. So Nezumi had no choice but to follow Dudekapel's wishes and talk about himself using his power to win the Zodiac Tournament. Out of a hundred ways, there was only one chance to win the tournament, and Nezumi did it. After listening to Nezumi's explanation, Dudekapel invited Nezumi to leave and would grant whatever he asked for. But it looks like Nezumi doesn't have any requests for now. Even until some time had passed, Nezumi still couldn't determine his desire because he was the only Juni Taisane fighter who had neither the desire to fight nor the desire behind him to take part in the Zodiac Tournament. One day, Nezumi becomes reminded of the wishes of other fighters, such as Hitsuji, who wants to live forever, and Niwa, who wants to be more confident. But of the many wishes, none of them appealed to him. Even Nezumi used his powers to ask Dudekapel to grant his wish 99 times. Still, none of those wishes made him happy, so Nezumi finally begged Dudekapel to erase his memories of the Zodiac Tournament and everything there. Dudekapel granted the request, and Nezumi was finally able to return to his normal and happy life. The moral that can be learned from this anime is, that sometimes the thing that makes us the happiest is not when we succeed in getting all our desires, but when we don't have to worry about anything. Live our lives without coercion and without being restrained by anything, including our egos and desires.